Hey, y'all. So, I normally do AA Glitter on Patreon. Um, I might do the extended version on Patreon, but I'm going to do a partial message on here on YouTube. So, if you resonate with my AA Glitter or you resonate with that abundance glitter frequency that we're trying to hit, this message is for you. Now, um, the word I just keep hearing is uh, watch and see. Those are the words I keep seeing here. Watch and see. It's a lot of watch and see energy right now. They want you guys to watch and see. And it's a lot of like, um, they're proud of you. They're very proud of you. Your spirit team, your God, Buddha, whoever you believe in, they're extremely proud of you. Extremely proud of you. They're extremely proud of you. You know, it. sweetness and synergy. I told you they're extremely proud of you. They're happy that you decided to, you know what I just heard in my head? They're happy that you finally decided to start believing in some shit you couldn't see. You start believing in yourself. 111 on the clock. You started believing in yourself. They, they want me to say they're proud that you finally started to believe in yourself, to know that you're abundant. Told you. What what the fuck did I just say? No, I'm talking about sweetness and sweetness, sweetness and synergy, intuition, and fortune. I told you, it's like they're very proud of you. They're like, we're so proud of you. Because you believing in yourself is your intuition. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me just read this real quick. Should your slice of should your slice of bread contain a coin, this would indicate prosperity and good luck. The P, unfortunately, meant that no marriage would occur for you that year, yet finding the ring meant a marriage was certain. The stick to be avoided at all costs indicated disputes and unhappiness, and finding the cloth meant bad luck and little money ahead. When you pull the card, when you pull this card, it indicates a curiosity to know what is ahead, but what, but it's important to balance that with that blah, 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 blah. When you pull this card, it indicates a curiosity to know what is ahead, but it's important to balance that with the now. After all, we have the tools to change our future should we choose. The sweet synergy of the brim, the brown brack, the all the ingredients, including the objects, are more complete and powerful together than they are individually. Should encourage you to seek your own sweet spot. That sweet spot is your intuition. I'm going to read Black Cat too. Should this slinky black cat cross your path through this oracle, know that good luck and fortune will be meeting you promptly. Also know that your luck will be even luckier if you prepare to take advantage of every special opportunity that comes your way. What did I literally just say? Your ancestors, your team, your people, your folk, your kin folk. Your kin folk is very proud of you. They're very proud of you. Because you know what you also see it being? You also saw it being um, bigger than you. It was bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? The, the whole thing was always bigger than you. And you felt that. You saw that. You believed in that. Once you believe in yourself to conquer anything, it's a movement. Intuition was the second card that came out. That sweet spot that they were talking about, that sweet spot is, 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 that, is your heart. Things that you realize you got to take a little bit here. You got to take a little bit here. And you got to take a little bit here, and you got to mix that puppet. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a way of mixing it up. It's a way of moving. It's, a, it's, it's just a way of that. This doesn't even need an extended, honestly. Balance, energy, honesty, and emotion. This is the lovers. I told you it's a sweet spot of love. Like, you know, you, you ever heard somebody, you ever heard somebody say, and I tell people this all the fucking time. I tell people this all the fucking time. I can tell when people don't make my food with love. I always tell people, make my food with love. And people don't ever understand what I mean when I say that. Make it with, with, with your heart. If you love to cook, put your soul in that bitch. Because I'm going to feel it. You ever had some food, you just be like, mm -mm, this wasn't made with love. Mm -mm. And if you ever had, like, you know, some food your grandmama make or your auntie make and it's busting. It's because it was made out of love. It was made out of, it was made out of um, a heart space of, of soul purity. You know, they, they, you know, I just also heard is we're purifying you. The Scorpio, that's, that's the death card. That's the Scorpio card. One more spirit. And the damn chariot. 
Oh, no, excuse me. That's the sun. I apologize. This is Leo energy. Five for change. Renewal on the bottom of the deck. Spiritual progress, success, and hope. I'm telling you. All right, let's read these real quick, and then we're going to go. It, this didn't need to be a long message. I just really wanted to touch base with y'all in regards to the energy I was picking up for y'all. Corn planting moon signals a time of great energy and enthusiasm. The fears that held you back in the past dissolve in the light of this suspicious moon. You can achieve great things by channeling the surge of creative energy and balancing it with clear direction. Those born under this sign tend to express their powerful emotion. As a result, others feel vulnerable and relationships may suffer. When your emotions feel overwhelming, remember to slow down, take a deep breath, and think through the consequences before you speak. This moon teaches you that being honest with yourself and others in a gentle way fosters positive growth for everyone involved. Allow yourself the freedom to explore many different paths. This is a perfect time for venturing into new and untried circumstances. Through experimentation, you discover the perfect project or idea to channel your spirited energy into. This is that energy that you guys are going into of following your soul of, of, of it. And they're purifying you because now you're about to walk into it. I'm telling you, it's an abundant energy. For you to walk into an, an infinite energy, infinite. Infinite means it, it don't ever stop. Limitless. You, you have to be in tune with your emotions to be balanced. Okay? Do you want to read this one? All right, let's go ahead. Like the snake shedding the skin, freeze up moon represents letting go of outworn roles to reveal your true identity. It is very easy to get caught up in playing the roles prescribed by others. If you continue to play along, sacrificing your true self, sooner or later you will lose yourself. The freeze up moon card signifies a opportunity to get back in touch with your inner self. Courage and patience are required to let go of the roles that have been smothering your inner light. Shedding the old skin may leave you feeling somewhat vulnerable. The people around you who have grown accustomed to your old roles may resist this change. Remember, that's their fears and uncertainty, not yours. Stand firm. Listen to your higher self and let it guide you along your path of self-discovery. As you allow the parts of your true identity to emerge, you feel your spirit lightening. This is real freedom and the true creative expression. Now is the time to let go of the roles that limit your potential and take up the call to explore and express your true self. This is judgment. This is rebirth. This is death of the ego, dark night of the soul, Phoenix rising from the ashes. And then you got life lessons, victory, and courage, 23, which is also five. We're going to read these two and then we're going to go. Survival is the theme of the right berries moon. No matter what hardship life has, present, has recently handed you, this moon signals victory over adversity. Past issues resurface because spirit knows you are now equipped to deal with them. What did I say? In definite energy, you have to be balanced of emotion. Now it's time for you to step into this light. Um, truths avoided only resurface at a later time. Confront the lesson and release the burdens that stand in the way of personal fulfillment. Those born under the right berries moon have a very masculine approach, which causes, and you know the sun is masculine energy, which comes across an incredible strength and stamina. This moon encourages you to explore your softer feminine side within and bring your emotions to the surface. Face them with an open, nurturing heart and express them with the strength and stability of the right berries moon influence. When you find this balance, you will feel an emotional calm and be able to hear the voice of your intuition. There's that intuition again. You will have the strength and courage to accept an abundant life, abundant, infinite. Hello for yourself. Set an example for others to look up to you. Owning your own power comes from accepting and creating abundance through gentle perseverance and strength of will. Marie, the last one. We're going to go. The renewal card comes after a period of difficulty, difficulty and strife. It represents the springtime of your life when the cold winter snow is gone and new growth emerges. You have cleansed yourself of past burdens and now are filled with strength and determination. This is particularly good time to work on your dreams and goals. The positive and free-flowing energy signifies a time of success and great fortune. And what did we get? The black cat, which was good fortunes. And it, actually, the black cat was, it's good, it's good fortunes. Hold on. Fortune meets opportunity. And you know, the owl on the bottom of the deck, is like they wanted me to see that wise, seeing wise action. The owl is the wisdom. And it's funny, it has the eagles on here too. The owl is on this one too. You see what I'm saying? It's that clarity. All right, boom, here we go, my bad. 
Okay, your confidence grows as you begin to come fully into your own power. With the growing recognition that you do have something to offer the world comes renewed belief in yourself. This inspirational energy can help you manifest joy and abundance in every area of your life. Make good use of this magical time. Your connection to the vine is strengthening. Renewal suggests opportunity. And once again, the word opportunities is here. Renewal suggests opportunities are all around you to develop your gifts. Your life is truly a blessing right now and you have a lot to be thankful for. Didn't I tell you that your ancestors were very proud of you? They're very proud that you realized that the situation was bigger than you. All right, y'all. I don't even I don't even need to do an extended, honestly. I don't even need to do an extended. I love you guys so much. Okay. Um, don't forget all readings are readings and Patreon tiers are 13% off. Um, not really too much content in Patreon right now, so you know, I wouldn't really focus on that. Um but if you would like a reading, you can definitely book it with me through the website in the link tree, which is in the description box below. Um, follow me on all social media platforms. You know, I, I, the messages go everywhere they need to. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Get ready for 11-11. Write down everything. Write down your thoughts, new beginnings. Write down what you want to manifest. Because right now, the energy that you're touching, you're touching an abundant energy. You're touching an indefinite, like in, like infinity. Like I literally keep seeing this in my head. And I had that tattooed on me too. Because I knew that what I want is limitless. I want limitless amounts of happiness. I want limitless amounts of stability, love, abundance, prosperity, good health, good wealth, all of that. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Because you did the work. So, I'm proud of you. They're proud of you. We love you guys. Bye.